Hello and welcome back to a brand new video where today we are talking about Xbox Fitness. That's right, did you know Xbox had some type of fitness game? Uh, I didn't really, but I now have some information regarding it. And if you were like, oh my, you know, Matt, I might, you know, be intrigued to pick up this Xbox Fitness game. Because, you know, I want to get in shape or, you know, I want to be, be slightly fitter, try some new exercises. Well... You're sort of late to the party just like myself. So Xbox Fitness has been around ever since the Xbox Ones pretty much came out since 2013. And it looks like they're uh, pulling the cord. Uh, they'll be no longer be able to play the game in a few years' time. And they're uh, stopping, you know, DLC and online purchases and all that kind of stuff. Which I, I guess is kind of confusing that they're stopping a game which it doesn't allow you to play the game anymore. And, you know, I, I wonder why. Maybe, you know, the, the instructors or the trainers even in the game. Like every year the game's out, maybe they get some commission or whatever. Maybe the game's not doing well and they say, hey, you know, hang on a sec. You know, no one's really playing this game you know why don't we just hang the cord and you know no longer produce and support the game so in today's video we're gonna be talking about some background information regarding the game some information about three particular dates well three important dates which tell us about how the game is slowly gonna be pulled off the console in terms of pretty much everything really there's three important dates and uh, the main question is Will we get a refund for anyone who's purchased Xbox One Fitness? Pretty interesting to find out. But if you do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Do you currently have Xbox Fitness? I don't. But uh, is this the first you've heard of it? Or, you know, have you played it before? Please let me know. So, give you guys some background information. So, this game came out in 2013 with the Xbox One. And it pretty much allows you to experience the best workouts with famous trainers right in the comfort of your own home. So it's very similar to Wii Fit. And uh, it had multiple updates since the Xbox One. And it looks like they're no longer supporting the game and producing content. And especially the main thing is the game will no longer be able to be played. Uh, in the next 18 months or so, which is kind of bizarre, and that's the main talking point, is that will we get a refund for a game which we purchased and we can no longer play? So it'd be quite interesting to find out, and let me know, and you know, when I do have information whether or not Microsoft will or not, I will let you know in due time. So let's talk about the three most important dates, especially if you do have Xbox Fitness, and if you are thinking about buying it, you might want to think elsewhere. So, June 27th, so a few days ago, Xbox Fitness content will no longer be available for purchase. So, on the Xbox Store, you cannot purchase any additional content for Xbox Fitness. Any existing purchase content, so any content you've bought prior to June 27th, will be available for one year until June 2017. So, if you bought some DLC or you know, any type of content prior to June 27th, then you only have it for one year until June 2017, which I guess is kind of a bummer. And especially if you know you spent five, ten pounds or so, you only really have it for a year. And it's more of a subscription rather than a you know a solid purchase. Now moving on to the second date. So as these dates come to an end and get closer to 2017. It's just more and more, you know, they're taking out stuff to basically ease you off playing Xbox Fitness and either going to a gym or just trying a different fitness game. Maybe go back to Wii Fit, I don't know. I, I do fitness games do well on consoles? I'm not too sure. I mean, people don't enjoy going to the gym. People prefer staying at home. And I guess fitness games are good. But uh, I d maybe they're not profitable. Who knows? Please let me know. But December 15th, they'll be removing free with gold offers. So if you're an Xbox Live Gold member, you get benefits, right? You get benefits, online features. You get the Xbox Live Gold games per month. And obviously there's offers as well. And uh, in December 15th, they'll be removing their free with gold offer. So you are able to have the game for free during this offer period. And what they're doing now is until then, so until December 15th, members will still be able to play Xbox Fitness via streaming as part of the offer for free. But after that date, nope, they're cutting off the cord and you will no longer be able to play it via Free With Gold offer. Now, finally, the most important date of them all is July 2017. Xbox Fitness and all associated content will no longer be available to download or play. So when it hits July 2017, you'll be no longer be able to play the game or even download it. 
so uh, that kind of sucks and this includes content which you have purchased over the last three or four years which kind of sucks especially if you invested quite heavily in the game and i've never played it so but all i know is the fitness game and um, you can buy online content but uh, please let me know if you have played the game now finally the last bullet point to talk about is when it does hit july 2017 xbox fitness will be no longer be able to play so it's pretty much as having a disc which is worthless and the big question is, will we get a refund for a game which we've purchased, you know, invested time into? Will we get some type of refund? If you purchase content in the last year or so, then maybe get some type of discount. I mean, if you buy a game, you know, every game depreciates, right? I've never, you know, some games, some classic games appreciate in value. But uh, when you buy a game, for example, you know, Black Ops 3, right? You buy Black Ops 3 for, say, £40. And coming to, you know, six months after it's come out, you know, it's probably worth about, you know, on the used market, maybe 20, 25 pounds, brand new market, you know, maybe 35 pounds or so. You know, when you invest in time and when something does depreciate, it's normally the money which, you, you know, you've lost is down to pleasure. So, you know, when you buy a car, for example, and you buy it for £10,000 in a few years time you want to sell it, it's worth seven. But over those years, you know, it's taking you to work maybe, see your friend. And that money you've lost is turned into pleasure. So maybe they'll give us a refund. I don't think they will. But it'll be interesting to know and I will let you know once I have information. But um, let me know, have you played Xbox Fitness? I personally haven't. I played Wii Fit. Wii Fit was pretty cool. But most of you know I am a gym fanat. So I do enjoy going to the gym, being a gym lad. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, comment down below and what wonderful jazz, and as always, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Adios chaps, boom!